morning, Mr. Y and classmates. My English project topic is deadly tornado. <laughs> Tornadoes have touched down all over the world. More than 20 tornadoes touch down in the USA alone each year. A tornado can travel very quickly. At more than 65 kilometers per hour, and more than 418 kilometers per hour. It takes only five minutes for a tornado to fall. There is an existing scale to rate tornadoes. Lowest rating is ZF0, highest rating is ZF5. Here's how a tornado forms. First, a thundercloud appears. The air in it starts to spin. Then, it stretches towards the ground and starts sucking the warm air. Next, it stretches lower to suck in more air. Then, the air cools and condenses to form a whirling funnel shape. Then, it turns into an elephant's trunk-like shape hanging from the sky. Finally, it touches down. Tornadoes spin anti-clockwise in the North Hemisphere and clockwise in the South Hemisphere. Next. Tornadoes have touched down all over the world and done a lot of damage to human lives and properties. I would like to highlight three of the most deadly ones. First, in 1992, a tornado tore through Puka, Australia. It had a wind speed of 166 kilometers per hour. The tornado released hail the size of baseballs. In 1966, a tornado tore through Topeka, Kansas. More than 3,000 homes were destroyed. 16 people were killed. More than 500 were hurt. Finally, the most deadly of all, the Tri-State Tornado. In 1925, it tore through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. It stayed on the ground for 219 miles. 695 people were killed, making it the most deadly tornado in history. There is an existing scale to rate tornadoes. Lowest rating is EF0, highest rating is EF5. EF0 and EF1 tornadoes do light to moderate damage. They can rip off roofs and demolish lampposts. EF2 and EF3 tornadoes can do considerable to severe damage. They can wreck mobile homes, derail trains, and flip cars over. EF4 and EF5 tornadoes can do devastating damage. They can lift buildings into the air and hurl cars hundreds of meters. In conclusion, tornadoes have touched all over the world and done a lot of damage to human lives and properties. There must be a cause to all these natural disasters. It's because that human beings have been polluting and destroying the environment. Human beings cause global warming. Global warming causes greenhouse effect. That keeps all the heat within the atmosphere. And that causes extreme weather. All sorts of natural disasters will happen. Thank you. Any questions? Wait. Oscar. Show it.